Hey, welcome to Cheaper Jeeper TV, the show that helps you get the most for your money so that you can get the most for your Jeep. Hi, I'm Dino, your host. Glad to see you here. Last week, a subscriber reached out to me to share his DIY rooftop hoist system for under 40 bucks. You get to see it this week. Stick around. On these beautiful, warm, sunny days, who wouldn't want to take the top off of their Jeep Wrangler and enjoy driving around with the top off? But it isn't something that some of us do often, and to invest in an expensive commercial system might not be practical. That's where an inexpensive DIY solution like the one we're going to feature today comes in handy. Let's have a look. Before we look at our subscribers rooftop hoist system, let's just review some of the options as we can read about them in the forums. Some people will use ratchet straps, but in this system that we're going to view today, our subscriber is using cam straps. As you see in the image here, cam strap is a little different in that they don't have a ratchet per se, but they do have this release button which you can press to either tighten the strap or to loosen the strap. So let's go have a look. We'll just walk past our subscriber's beautiful Stingray Rubicon and have a look at his hoist system in the garage. So what you have to do is back the Jeep up into the garage and then hook up your hardtop to the four straps that come down from the ceiling. Our subscriber uses this bar in which to adjust the four straps to accommodate for the locations of the joists. If you don't have bars like this, you could simply locate the joists and screw some 2x4s to them and then simply screw your four straps into those. So let's have a look at how the straps are holding up the top. You can see the strap coming down from the ceiling with some foam where it touches the hard top to protect it. You can see the handle for the strap there. As we come underneath you can see how the use of foam for plumbing pipes is used to help protect the top. And then rounding this corner of the hard top is some more foam and there's the strap handle. And it's this handle that you grab when you want to pull and lift the top off the Jeep or press the cam button that you see there to slowly lower the top back onto the Jeep when you're done. Here we are finishing our tour back to the front of the top. So in essence, it's a pretty basic system that involves the purchase of the four cam straps for about 15 bucks and then some hooks for your ceiling. You back your Jeep up, hook up the straps to the top, maybe by having a strap covered with foam as you see in our subscriber's example, and then one by one lift the corners up by pulling on the strap and holding the cam button. Then you just reverse the process when you're done. Back the Jeep up into the garage, Hold the cam button and slowly lower down each corner of the Jeep and you're done. Well, that was pretty interesting. Let's have a look at this week's tip. Now for some cheaper Jeeper tips. Naturally, if you take the top off, you'll want to take the doors off as well. Along with the myriad of videos out there to help you with that, here's a few extra tips. To avoid scratching your paint with your tools, cover the area with masking tape. Also, the hinges could be a source for damage, so if you're not using pin guides, you may want to use masking tape there as well. And then there's the bolts for the door detents. Well, there's room for those in the storage tray along with the bolts for the doors, the hard top, and the space is available in the holes for the windshield bolts. But what about the doors? Well, here's an idea. You can do this DIY project with instructions available online anywhere on the forums or other YouTube videos that show how to construct this dolly made out of plywood and PVC pipe and foam. It holds all of the four doors, including your two Freedom top panels. And when you need to, you can just roll it out of the way. 
and if this isn't a solution for you, you could always buy commercial or make DIY door hooks to hang your doors up on the wall. I'll put some links in the description to those projects. If you like those ideas, make sure you subscribe and share this video with friends that might also like it. And how about giving the video a thumbs up? And now a word from our subscribers. And now for subscribers tips. Hey Cheaper Jeeper TV. When we remove our doors, we regularly spray white lithium grease in the hinges where the pins are inserted. This is to help in the removal and installation process, plus I'm sure it helps with pin corrosion prevention. Without this lubrication, the door pins can seize up, making door removal next to impossible. Just a tip. Signed, Luba Pins. Hey Luba, what a great tip. Honestly, it sounds like one of those kinds of tips that you won't even recognize many years down the road how much it's been paying off. Thanks again. So we hope you found that idea helpful. Maybe you have a DIY idea that can help save members or Cheaper Jeeper TV community some money. If so, why don't you reach out? Maybe we could arrange something. Maybe we'll have your idea featured on our next episode. That's it for this week's Cheaper Jeeper TV. We hope that you enjoyed the episode. And if so, please remember to subscribe or give a thumbs up or share this video with somebody else who you think might enjoy it. Till next time, stay safe, be well, take care.